So let me show you just how we build, a, you know, like you're trying to become wealthy in the future. This is how we do it. We help you build a financial house. And, um, and we, we want you to focus on the right thing. We don't want you to focus on dying. We want you to live. I want you to focus on having your half a million, million, two and three and four and five million dollars or so by the time you retire. That's what we want you to be focused on. So there are three steps to building a financial house. The first step is you need to decide that you're going to become wealthy. Decide, guys. Second thing, put a blueprint together. You can't build a, you know, you, if you're going to build a house, you need to have a blueprint. You need to have a roadmap, you know. Um, you know, have a vision, write it down, make it plain so you got something to run with. You need something to run with, okay. Put a blueprint together, and that blueprint is called a financial needs analysis. It's free of charge. We're not charging you for this. And then if you're going to build a house, you need to build it on a solid what? Foundation. That's what you got to do first, okay. So we'll be trying, the goal is to get you to be wealthy, but we're going to do it in steps. So what's the first step to getting your, getting your wealth program together? Well, protect your income, guys. You don't know when you're going to die. You don't even know. If you knew when you were going to die, you buy the life insurance the day before, right? You don't know when you're going to die. So protect your life, your income by getting term life insurance, and that'll keep the income coming in whether you live or whether your wife, I mean, whether you die, your wife dies or whatever. So either way, the income can keep coming in because you got 10 times your annual income. If they're making 30000 you need about $300,000 to protect that income. And you can keep your life going in the same way it's been going or better, okay? Now, the second step is to, is, is to get, start a debt elimination program. Put a budget together. Get an emergency, emergency fund and have a will. That's critical you do these steps. Get the life insurance. We're going to help you put a budget together. We do that through doing a financial needs analysis, okay? And, uh, and we help you eliminate all the debt by putting that financial needs analysis together. You just follow that program. So then we're going to, so the first thing we're going to do is after we get a little program, we have to get the debts eliminated. And uh, we're going to set up some sort of, um, you know, emergency fund and everything. We'll get you a will. So you need to have a will so the money can go where you want to go in case something happens. Also, you set up a retirement account. And the next step is, we'll help you with that through the financial needs. And now we'll help you get a college program for you set up for your kids. See, most people want to put the retirement before they put the, um, want to put the college program before the retirement. You don't want to do that. So like if you want a plane and the auction loses, the plane loses auction pressure, who do you put the mask on first? Put it on yourself first. Make sure you can retire because your kids go and you put all the money towards your kid and they blow all the money and go start smoking dope or something like that. And then they fail out of college and you don't have no money because you put it all towards them. They fail and you fail. You got to make sure that you survive so you can catch them in case they don't survive. Okay. You're sensible. You got to teach kids sometimes take a little bit to get that knowledge and, and that smarts uh, together. Okay. So you put your retirement program, put some money towards the college program for the kids and everything too. And then you, you, uh, you put the roof on the house, right? This is the other goals, dreams, and the fun and games, okay? So you notice that young people, you know, they want to have all what? They, how do they do things? Do they start at the bottom or do they start at the top? They want fun and games all the time. They're just trying to put a roof. <laughs> They're trying to have fun and games. They ain't got no, no foundation. See, without the foundation, you, your, your whole house can come crumbling down, okay? So these things got to be put together. Then you put a roof on it. Does that make sense? That's the way you build a financial house. If anybody dies prematurely, this house stays intact. Nothing suffers. The income still comes in. You can still do this. You can still do this. You can still do this. You can still have fun and games too, okay? And, uh, and that's the way we do it, guys. Do it like this and your house will stand. If you put this first, it won't work. You got to put it in, in, in this order and it will work a lot better, especially that foundation. Make sure you do that. So on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, how would you rate your desire to become profit protected? Debt free and financial independent. Would it be a 10? Good. If you say 10, yeah, good, good. So I'm going to help you do it. Since this is important to you, you can you, you see how this should work? Okay, good. I'm going to help you set it up like this. We start you off with the foundation, we build on it, and we'll put it together because the whole ultimate goal is to save up enough money so you don't have to work anymore, okay? I mean, if you don't want to, I'm not saying you got to retire, but you don't have to work as hard. You can choose some days or weeks when you can go off on a vacation. 